So hi and hello everyone. We are the group four and we will be tackling about how do the science and technology violates the human rights in, in education. So science and technology in education can be a powerful tool for learning and innovation, but also have negative impacts on human rights if not used responsibly. So an example there is um may are kita ginatawag na advantage and disadvantage. So um nature isang tao is among into. So kung may ara kita isa ka friend nga speechless or clueless and then may ara kita sa isang man ka tao nga kahamat which is matik advantage sa isang ka mamo or sa speechless sa isang ka tao. So explain ta is what is right of education. When we say right, ang atong karapatan, karapatan ta magsulat, karapatan ta makabalo, makatuon, for us to be able to acquire learnings and also for us to develop our skills. So, the state should protect and promote the right of all citizens to quality education at all levels and shall take appropriate steps to make such education accessible to all. So, may ara kita, may ara kita sa private sectors and public sectors for us, ang atong mga kabataan, maka education. So, provide adult citizens that is able and out of school youth with training in civics, vocational efficiency, and other skills. So, we represent ang atong former president, Fidel B. Ramos, ang atong nga um, TESDA, which is the focus sa skills sa isa ka individual. So, succeed by our TESDA man, or Joel Fidel Nueva, in the year of 2015, I guess. So, both individual and society benefit from the right of education. It is fundamental for human and social economic development and a key element to achieving lasting peace and sustainable development. So moving on, we have the Republic Act 9155, which also known as the Governance of Basic Education, an act of 2001. This provides the overall framework for principal empowerment by strengthening principal and leadership goals and local-based management within the context of transparency and local accountability. So examples are given below, which is the suits for how do the science and technology violates the human rights in terms of education. So first things first, we have the invasion of privacy. The use of surveillance technology in schools, such as facial recognition, can violate students' privacy and leads to the unnecessary monitoring and tracking of their activities. Through this, this can have a chilling effect on their freedom of expression and association and potentially stigmatize certain students based on their behavior or activities. Another example which would be the cyberbullying. The use of any social media platform in education can expose students to cyberbullying and other forms of online harassment. This can have serious psychological effects on students and violates the right to a safe and sacred learning environment. So next is the digital divide. The digital divide is a major issue in education as it can prevent students from marginalized communities from accessing digital resources and tools. This can result in unequal access to educational opportunities and a widening of the achievement gap between different groups of students. The digital divide refers to the inability of all to have equal access to technology in order to experience learning where the wealthy have this access and those from middle and low income backgrounds do not. This technology includes hardware such as mobile devices, televisions, and personal computers, as well as connectivity to the internet such as to data and Wi-Fi. So every student is entitled to have adequate access to educational resources and support services to improve their academic performance. But recently, however, the education sector has felt the immensity of the digital divide with half of the 1.5 million students affected by the COVID-19 pandemic lacking access to computers and the internet. Overall, it is important to ensure that science and technology are used in education in ways that respect and promote human rights 
and that appropriate safeguards are in place to prevent any potential harm. Data privacy. The use of technology in education often involves collecting and storing personal data about students. This can violate their rights to privacy if proper safeguards are not put in place to protect this data. Data privacy is a discipline para sa masecure ang mga importante nga data at para hindi basta-basta maka-access kung sino ang, ang, ang WAI authority. For that, tigit din eh ang paggamit sa isang po resulta sa pag-isig kadula, liwat, or kawa. And access barriers. The use of technology in education can lead to access barriers for students who do not have access to the necessary technology or internet. For example, the barriers, it means ang um, hadlang sa mga estudyante, especially sa mga students na hindi afford ang mga technology for those people who belong in marginalized sector. And also, this can create a digital divide and disadvantage students who, can, who came from a lower income families or marginalized communities. That's what I have said, um, some, of the, some of the students who belong in marginalized sector, hindi nila afford ang technology. So, bali, ano, nang low ilang access sa technology. So, some of them, though, hindi sila alam abalo kung ano ang, kung paano magamit technology, kung paano magamit information, mag-access, amugunit siya ang major struggle sa people, especially in marginalized communities. Next is the inadequate training about technology. The use of technology in education requires teachers to have an adequate training and support. Without this, technology can exacerbate existing educational inequalities and harm students' learning outcomes. A worrying problem is that technology is often misused by students who spend hours on the computer and use it for pointless things such as Facebook and wireless. These children lack concrete guidelines to steer them into beneficial use. Family plays a major role in controlling the children while using the computer. Also, teachers play a very important role for their instruction, which can stimulate students to use for educational needs. Example, a children play more games or watch underrated videos tend more to exaggerate the amount of violence in the world that surrounds them. In addition, it was found that those children who play war games tended more to accept the fear. When students tend to accept the fear of a bad person breaking into their homes, or when a random bad person could harm them, those who see a lot of movies, movies rather, and other programs that show criminal violence see their city as a dangerous place. Regarding the disadvantages of technology in education, here are some examples. Number one, it may be destructive to students. It may be disconnecting students from face-to-face -face relationship. It may make cheating easier. It may cause students to use unreliable resources for learning. It may cause children tend to adapt what they saw on their phone, especially the violence. And using technology, it is possible that students can search and watch or all pornographic videos. So it is very important that we have a proper training and knowledge about where technology became useful and harmful. Having proper education and training about technology can really help us. Thank you. The Stripping Nation are the things that are artificial intelligence used to education technologies used to education technology may be based to describe against certain group to student based the race, gender, or the other factors. It is used for the educational technology may be basis discriminate the student gender and based on the sexual appeal. Like for example, the gay. They can put gay ka, they can put mo na they can maka-espira, they can put it in school. So, 
This generation, the Ephesian society published the right of education against the text. Discrimination advice, the use of artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning are prevalent and education can perpetuate and even amplify existing biases and discrimination. For example, if the algorithm is trained to bias of data, it can reinforce discriminatory practice and lead to inequal treatment of students based on factors such as race, gender, and socioeconomic status. Like, there are many negative impacts of discrimination. Because of discrimination, people may be defined as quality education, opportunities of career advancement, proper medical care, or access to housing and other places in society. Discrimination may also impact some people who would like to get married or are longing to start families and more. Next, the loss of face-to-face -face interaction. Over reliance on technology in education can lead to a loss of face-to-face -face interaction between students and teachers, which can impact social and emotional learning and lead to a lack of personal connection. Because of the growing technology, our lives become easy. We can connect even we are far from each other. But in result, we lost the face-to-face -face interaction, which collaborative learning becomes ineffective. Kahit tungkol na sa link na ang iba sa online platforms, kakadula na ang mga hands-on activities, na experiments, which nakotanin ang magulit sa learning sa mga kabataan. Kahit nila makakonstruct with knowledge at maintindihan din sa mga isusyante ang mga lessons. Misuse of surveillance technologies. In some cases, technology is used to monitor students' activities, behaviors, and even emotions violating the right to privacy and autonomy. Si Sami ara kita nga gusto ma-cobra hon sa school pero may mga CCTV si nga nagapalibot sa ato schools which nagabayo ni sa aton privacy as a human.